As soon as you walk into Bank of America Stadium, you realize you're in a special place. It features some of the most interesting architecture in the league. He can't bring him down. They'll set up shop at the 28-yard line. It's the tailback. The stop was made by Gabriel Wilson. Four yards on that play, and that will bring up second down. They give it to the tailback. He doesn't get back to the line. And it looked like this defensive line just beat him off the snap. Sometimes those guys can time out the quarterback's cadence. And if the quarterback doesn't start changing that snap count, his offensive line is going to really struggle. Short pass. The tackle was made by Will Allen. The Dolphins held them in check on that drive, and that's a good way to send a strong message to an offense that it is going to be a very physical game. Again, fields it at the 22. He takes it back to the 33. The offense will take over at the 33-yard line. It's first and 10. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. He fights forward to about the 36 before he's hit and dropped. Gets it off. He fights forward to about the 39. Landon Johnson was there to bring him down. Short throw. The tackle was made by Davis. You know, it really wasn't a horrible call that time by the defense. But anytime you have to try and stop an offense like this in those medium yardage situations, you really have to come up in the coverage. We'll get our first flag of the game. And that flag was thrown in the area of holding. Holding offense. So the penalty puts them back for a first and long. Gets the pass out. Brings it in. The stop was made by Godfrey. The Dolphins are putting together a good-looking drive here. That's their third first down. On the delay. Tackle was made by John Beeson. Brown gains about five yards on the run. Here's the gift. Too close to call. Here comes the chain gang. Why are we running that? We get back right here. You know the I put my face on that guy. Let's go get ours. The ref signals that they're just a little short. It's third down now, just about the length of the football away from the first down marker. The defense has to come up with a way to slow down this rushing game. And now's when things get really difficult for a defense because you begin to understand you're not stopping the run. So as you bring defenders closer to that line of scrimmage, you really take a chance on giving up a big play. Second down for the offense after that incomplete pass. No! Hands it off. Touchdown, Miami. The Dolphins get into the end zone first. And man, did he shoot out of there. Yeah, he had a great hole, but the way he hit that thing, whoo, that was hot. Dan Carpenter puts it through, and it's a seven-point game. 
Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. It's fielded at the two. Dropped at the 33-yard line. The defense could do no wrong the last time this team had the ball. Makes the short throw. The stop was made by Channing Crowder. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that one. And that's a pattern that this team likes to run. You know they've been studying that all week on film, and yet they still can't stop it. Just gets it off. And it's caught. Attacking is made by Aiken Adele. And when you're trying to catch those high hard ones, you just don't know what's going to happen to your body. I tell you, you haven't lived until you caught one of those and had one of those clowns flip you upside down. Give to the tailback. About four yards on that play. That'll bring up second down. Here's the throw. He catches another. Great play, and the Panthers will have first and goal. The Panthers are getting on a bit of a roll here. Nice play calling and good execution. The defense looks a little confused right now. Into the end zone for a touchdown. All the great athletes out there on the field, and they throw it to the fullback for a touchdown. John Casey adds the extra point, and we're all tied up. Here's your sprint drive summary. They get him at the 29-yard line. The Dolphins ended their last drive with a touchdown, so they'll look to make it two in a row. Dumps it out left, and he caught it. The light gains about five yards on the play. That'll bring up second down. Throws it short. Pass falls incomplete. Camarillo was the intended receiver. They hand it off. They will be short. Well, that's just a big run stop right there. You have a very proud defensive line that was just going to take control of that situation. Brought down at the 28-yard line. The Panthers will look to build momentum by getting another touchdown on this series. Crowder was there on the tackle. Gain of two. And Tom, that was because the defense filled up all the gaps. The back was looking for somewhere to run, but by bringing the run blitz, they took away all the holes and stopped them for a minimal gain. They'll go with the run once again. Still on his feet. Five yards. And so it'll be third down. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. D'Angelo Williams got past the defenders and picked up a solid gain for the first. Williams will run it again. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. Bell is there to bring him down. Williams on the handoff. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line before several defenders bring him down. Yeah, yeah, 
throws it out. He leaves. It's caught. The Panthers are having some success getting the ball down the field on this drive. This offense is clicking. Passes the ball. Under pressure, he felt the heat that time and was forced to throw it away quickly. Harrington gets the carry left side. They got four yards there. That'll bring up third down. Under heavy pressure. Great play by the defense. You always hear coaches talking about whoever gets lower. Get your pad level lower than the offensive lineman. That time this defensive line did exactly that. John Casey nails it. And they'll grab the lead. Three-point game. Taken at the five. He breaks the tackle. The defense played exceptionally well the last time this offense had the ball. Gets the ball away. Leaping catch. Yeah, the defense came with pressure, but they couldn't quite get to the quarterback, and they paid a price. He got it out of there, picked up a nice game. Throws it. He's there for the catch. McAllister makes the tackle. Patience for a wide receiver is just so key. He's able to manipulate that defense, set him up one play, come back with the exact same look, and break off of it the next. Beautifully run. They snap it to the back. The stop was made by Barnett. That's a gain of five. That brings up second down. They'll go with the run once again. Four-yard gain, and that makes it third down. Passes it. Johnson gets his hand on it. And it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down. And you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. The Panthers will begin this drive at the 29-yard line. They hand it off. He gets out to about the 32-yard line before he's dropped. A pickup of about three, and that will bring up second down. The tackle was made by Smith. Very effective call that time by the defensive coordinator, bringing the outside linebacker a terrific way to give your defense some help in stopping the run. Gets the pass off. Pass is complete. I always find it surprising that tight ends typically don't get drafted very high, but when you think about the skill set, they have to be able to block like a tackle and catch like a wide receiver. Passes on the move. Gain of eight on the pass. Two yards away here on second down. Tosses it out. Bell hits him for a loss at the 43. Jeremiah Bell with the takedown again. That's his fifth tackle of the game. Passes. 
almost picked. And the pass was knocked away at the last minute. And those are the kind of big third down plays you have to have on defense to get the ball back and give your team a chance on offense. And not a good bounce on the punt. A missed field goal into their last drive. Let's see if they can put something together. Gets the pass away. The stop was made by Barnett. It's one of the dangers. You bring those extra defenders trying to get after the quarterback, and you're going to leave some man coverage on the outside. That time the quarterback able to take advantage. It goes straight to the back. To the 20. He's knocked down at the 9. Pretty impressive stuff. As a back, you have to just keep slamming it in there, believing that hole's going to be there eventually. That time it was, and he took advantage. Here's the give. Johnson will drop him behind the line at the 10. Again, he'll get the call. He's still going. One of the tough things about trying to get a quarterback block is how athletic those guys are. If you're a fullback or an offensive lineman or somebody out in front trying to make that block, it's just tough to get a hand on those guys. They're quick. The pass is away. Drops the sure pick. And the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Just terrific play by the defense. They followed the quarterback's eyes, made a quick jump on the ball, and were all over that one. And with that, the score is the Miami Dolphins, 10, the Carolina Panthers, 10. Taken at the five. He gets back to the 29. They were forced to punt on their last drive. Passes it out. Makes the catch. At the 40. At the 30. Down the sideline. To the 10. Touchdown, Panther. I knew all he had to do was catch that one, and he was going to be gone. When you possess that kind of speed, it is a very difficult day for the defense. Better give him a little more cushion than that. Carolina is up a touchdown. Brought down at the 27. The Dolphins don't want to settle for three again. They're looking to add a touchdown this time. Dumps it out right. Davis was there to bring him down. Good job all the way around by the defense that time. Not only did they have the deep routes completely covered there, but they also had the check down well within their grasp. Give to the tailback. He's dropped for a loss. You know, you can draw up any sort of protection scheme and blocking scheme that you want, but ultimately this game comes down to one big man against another big man, and that time the defense's big men, they won the battle. Gets the pass away. Catches it, and he's dropped. And he went way up to snag that one. That was a pretty catch. Throws it. There for the reception. Tackle was made by Martin. Run the ball, sell the run, play action pass, and it really just opens up your passing game. The key to throwing the football in this league is running it well, and this play action is starting to work. Here's the pass. 
Barnett gets his hand on it. Barnett had the coverage on the play. Gets the pass out. It's there for the catch. He gunned that one in there for the first down, didn't he? He really did. And when you watch a guy throw a ball that hard, they don't move their arm any faster. You see him driving off that back leg. That was a pretty pass. Marshall will drop him behind the line at the seven. If you want to be considered one of the top cornerbacks in the National Football League, Everybody has to be able to cover, but the top guys can not only cover, but come up and make big hits like that. Tremendous play. He throws short. Touchdown, Dolphins. The Dolphins cap off the very it, impressive eight play right drive there. by getting it in for six. Chad Pennington got the job done there, and we've seen him do it so many times over the years. That's the thing with him. He comes through time after time. Robinson fields it at the two. He makes it back to the 25. The Panthers were able to put a scoring drive together on their last time out. They go with the run. Aiken Adele is there to bring him down. Williams gains about two yards on the run. They'll give it off here. He fights forward to about the 30 before he's dropped by a host of tackles. Williams gets three yards on the play. He throws left. Tackle was made by Will Allen. Yeah, that's one if you study this team on tape, you're going to see them go to that in the clutch and it worked again. What's the deal, y'all? Again with the carry. Stiff arms the defender. A pickup of four. That'll bring up second down. It's the tailback. Too close to call. Here comes the chain gang. Yes, he got there. The defense took their shot there. They took a guess. It wasn't right. Let's just mark that one up as a win for the offense. Here's the throw, there for the catch. The Panthers are doing a pretty good job in the passing game. The receivers are finding some space in the secondary and the ball is getting there on time. They hand it off. The stop was made by Crowder. Williams gets about a yard on the play. Dumps it out well. Tackle was made by Joey Porter. Good job by the offense that time. Really nothing there down the field. He just takes a little completion and keeps moving the ball. They go with the run. He may not have gotten there. They'll measure. They're just inches short. So it's fourth down, and the kicker is on for the 45 yard attempt. And it's good. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary.
Brought down at the 28 yard line. The Dolphins punctuated that last series with a touchdown. I gotta tell you, they look really good. They have this defense way back on their heels. Option. Breaks a tackle. Brown picks up five yards with the carry. Brown takes the give. The stop was made by Kemoetu. So it's third down now. The offense will need about four yards to pick up the first. Brown will run it again. Well, Tom, the offensive line just didn't get any push there. They've got to do a better job knocking those guys off the line of scrimmage. Robinson fields it at the 30. The Panthers take over up by three. It's been a good battle so far between these two teams. Williams gets it on the inside. The tackle was made by Channing Crowder. They grab 10 yards there. That brings up second down. Williams takes it up the middle. The stop was made by Wilson. D'Angelo Williams picked up the first down after the gain of four. He lost yardage on the play. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. He throws right. Tackle was made by Davis. An impressive showing by the wideout in the first half. He's already gone over 100 yards receiving. Not a lot of mystery to this offense, is there? They're going to get it to this wide receiver. They know what he's capable of doing. And there is some great communication going on, verbal and nonverbal, between the quarterback and the receiver out here in the first half. He's still going to the 10. Touchdown, Panthers. The Panthers end their five-play series with the score. Nice-looking 60-yard drive. How about that burst of speed to take it all away? That was fun to watch. John Casey is good on the point after. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. In from the seven. And I have a feeling this one's coming back. First down. The Dolphins will set up shop at the 25. Throws it out. It's incomplete. Richard Marshall was defending on the play. Gives it off. John Beeson makes the tackle. About six yards on the play. And that makes it third down. Passes to his left. The stop was made by Beeson. Camarillo makes his third catch of the game. Here's the give. Peppers makes the tackle. By well, that time, the outside linebacker came on the run blitz. They got some penetration and shut down the play. It's a direct snap. He makes his way to about the 48 before he's getting tackled. 
The Dolphins get another big gain there. I'm telling you, I'm impressed with what they're doing right now in the running game. It goes straight to the back. The stop was made by John Beeson. Nothing makes a defensive coordinator cringe more than seeing that kind of run because then it sets up the play action and there's almost no way to stop an offense if you can't stop the run and you have to deal with play action. The Dolphins are picking up nice yardage just about every time they go to the air. I'm not sure what's happening with the defense right now, but they seem a little out of sorts. Throw short. Tackle was made by Davis. Now they didn't pick up the first down that time, but you drop back, you make a good throw like that. Now you're in position to try and pick up this first down. Passes the ball. The Dolphins drive it 75 yards and get into the end zone. Very nice nine play series. Chad Pennington got the job done there. and We've seen him do it so many times over the years. That's the thing with him. He comes through time after time. From the five-yard line. The Panthers have to be happy with how their offense performed that last time around. That was some drive, and now... Maybe they come out a little more loose in this drive. Vic with the give. Williams gets about four yards on the play. It's second and six coming up. Ball on the 34-yard line. He'll get the call again. Still on his feet. Williams has been in another stratosphere all year long. That last run gives him 2,000 yards rushing and puts him in elite company. On the ground, right side. Sheds one tackler, six-yard pickup, and that will bring up second down. So second down now, the offense needs about four for the first. Here's the give. He fights forward to about the 49. Wilson was there to bring him down. And that's why you send all those guys to plug up the holes. And that time there were no holes, really. And he was lucky to get anything on the play. Runs with it. And there's a clearing. The tackle was made by Will Allen. And in most defensive schemes, the one guy that is not accounted for is the quarterback. And it becomes so frustrating on those big downs if a quarterback takes off and picks up a first down. Going for it all. Allen had the coverage on the play. Second and seven coming up. Ball on the 42-yard line. Williams gets the ball left side. Williams gains about two yards on the run. Boy, he just took a shot on that one as a running back. The last thing in the world you want is a short gain and a big hit. Throws it short. Allen gets the pick. Jason Allen picks off pass number three of the season. Still working. The stop was made by Thomas Davis. The defense did a nice job there jamming the running back, bringing the outside linebacker on a blitz. Sometimes those outside backers are a little more athletic. It can really help stop the run. Looked like someone got caught holding. Here's the official call. So it's now second and 15 following the penalty. Oh, 
Short pass to his left. Richard Marshall is there on the tackle. You know, that's the kind of pass pattern I used to always love to run because if the defense is even a little bit lax in their coverage, it's pretty easy to get that one in there. It appears to be short. Looked like one of those old-fashioned rugby scrums there. A lot of big bodies piled together and nowhere for the running back to go. And it'll be down at the one. The Panthers turned the ball over on an interception their last time out. At the 30, at the 40, across midfield. Inside the 30, to the 20, to the 10. He's in for the score. He got a touchdown. He now has 10 for the season. When you've got a running back with this guy's work ethic, things like that just happen. 10 touchdowns, that's great. I say go ahead and celebrate. Enjoy yourself. Have a little fun. Congratulations. Again, takes it at the four. At the 30. Brought down at the 35. The offense really needs to get something going on this series. Maybe even just a field goal on the board is enough to get them jump started. Here's the give. The stop was made by Thomas Davis. Brown gets six yards on the play. Gets the ball away. Comes down with it. Peppers makes the tackles. Well, when you have a talented running back like this, you always have to account for him. That time, a nice play-action pass. Open it up down the field. Still pushing. John Beeson was there on the tackle. Brown comes away with five yards on the carry. Another run. Marshall makes the tackle. Ronnie Brown found a hole and was able to pick up just around six yards. Good enough for the first down. Throws it. Tight coverage, and it's picked off. Not a good way for that drive to end. That one really needed to go the distance and put seven points up so they could draw a little closer here in the first half. But give the defense credit for not slipping. Chad Pennington had just thrown his 100th career interception. The stop was made by Philip Merlin. You remember we were talking to the head coach yesterday and he said we want to go out today and really focus on running the football. I'm not even sure that he could have imagined the kind of success they've had here in the first half. They hand it off. Lineford was there on the tackle. Williams picks up two yards with the carry. Third and one coming up on this play. Two minutes to go in the half. He'll get the call again. Merling brings him down at the 34. Yeah, he really didn't have an opportunity to break that one, but at least he was able to get enough for the first down and move the chains. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. There are just some guys in this league that you have to run away from, but the danger in that is you run away from him and he uses his speed to catch you from behind. Another run. Channing Crowder has been on a collision course with the ball carriers. That takedown marking his fifth tackle. They go with the run. And they're not going to get it. Great stop. Yeah, and all it does is just add a few yards to the punt, which is not bad in this situation. Very seldom in this league are you going to pick up the first down in that third and very long situation. 
make a conservative call, add a few yards to the punt. Fielded at the 19. Gets to about the 37-yard line. The Dolphins want to get better results from this series. Their last one ended with a turnover. They hand it off. The Dolphins will take their first time out of the half. Passes it, and it's completed. The Dolphins will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. Go. Just gets it away. Just missed that time, bringing him down for a sack, but great pressure to force an incompletion. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone before halftime. Ted Ginn was his intended target. I'm guessing he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. Gets the pass off. Barnett makes the tackle. Let's send you to the studio for this brief halftime break. Thanks, Tom. We hope you guys have been enjoying the action. Top plays from the first half. Here you go. just about even. D'Angelo Williams has rushed for over 150 yards. Carolina is on top, 34-24. Welcome back to Bank of America Stadium. Stays on his feet. They get him at the 27. The Dolphins will start this drive at the 27-yard line. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Beeson was there on the tackle. We've got second and nine here. Ball on their own 28. They'll run the option. Got away, and he's got space. Gains his way to the 40-yard line before he's rustled to the ground. Hey. 
The handoff on a counter. Barnett makes the tackle. Brown gains about four yards on the play. Passes. Brings it in. Marshall is there on the tackle. Camarillo is able to make his fourth reception. Dumps it out right. Chad Pennington is really carving up this defense with yet another completion. He's now up over the 300-yard passing mark. Still moving. Still going. Williams comes away with five yards on the carry. Just seven yards from a touchdown now. Dumps it out left. Falls incomplete. Anytime you give up that quick pressure like that, very seldom are those passes completed. Gets the pass away. McAllister intercepts it. Not a good decision there to throw that. Yeah, that was a mistake, but at least this guy is out there trying to make plays. He's trying to fit in throws. Every once in a while, the defense just makes a play. The defense has him surrounded. That was impressively done by the Dolphins. Passes away. Will Allen was there to bring him down. The Panthers are continuing to find success throwing the ball. The pass protection is solid, and the defense with a very conservative approach playing off these receivers, allowing them to get open. Aiken Adele makes the tackle. Williams picks up about four yards on the play. Gives to the back. Throws it short. And he caught it. Inside the 30. To the 10. They'll score a touchdown. Vic is really carving up this defense with yet another completion. He's now up over the 300-yard passing mark. John Casey adds the extra point. Here's your sprint drive summary. He'll return it from the one. Dropped at the 29-yard line. The Dolphins are in a dangerous territory right now. This one's gotten a little out of hand, but a touchdown on this series, maybe your defense gets a little momentum going. Passes it out. He's there for the catch. Camarillo brings in his 50th catch of the season. to his left. The tackle was made by Marshall. Gain of five through the air. Man-to-man -man coverage on that play, so they go to the out route as the defensive back was playing it pretty cautiously there against a deep throw. Good pitch and catch. Gets the pass away. Pass is complete. Anthony Fasano now has five catches. Makes the catch. How 
about that pass? There's really no better feeling as an offense, especially for the quarterback position, than to take advantage when the defense is trying to blitz you. They're trying to make you nervous, and you just made them pay. Flips it out short. Drops the easy pick. Second down coming up after the incomplete pass. On the ground with a tailback. Drops behind the line. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. John Beeson was defending on the play. They call on the field goal unit here. They'll be looking at a 35-yard attempt. No good. The Panthers will begin this drive at the 25. Can't bring him down. He looks for an open man. You bring a little pressure and it impacts quarterbacks and we saw it there. Vic hands it off straight ahead. Well, that was the perfect time for them to call the blitz. They got in there, filled up all the gaps, brought down the running back for a short game. He's laying it out there. Davis knocks it away. So the offense will probably head off the field after failing to convert for a first down on that series. Well, you're going to have to gather the troops over on the sideline because whether it was poor play calling or poor execution, they never got anything going that time. He takes it to the 48. The Dolphins are looking to dig themselves out of this big hole that they've dug themselves into. And at the very least, you have to show the guys on the other bench you're not going to roll over. They'll give it off here. He left the defender grabbing air. Beeson is certainly dishing out the tackles. That'll be his eight. Dumps it out right. Incomplete pass. Richard Marshall had the coverage on the play. Not so much a bad pass as a bad decision. He saw the coverage there, simply had to go to the next receiver. He didn't make the right move. Again with the carry. He fights forward to about the 43. Lewis is there to bring him down. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. This one's going to go out of bounds at the 20-yard line. And it's pretty apparent that just about everything is working for these guys today. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Williams comes away with five yards on the carry from their own 25-yard line. Hands it to the back. Williams fumble. Referee's going to have to dig to the bottom of this pile to see who came away with it. Adele grabs it on the ground. The Dolphins take away possession. Very good work that time to recover the football for the defense. And if you've ever been in the bottom of one of those pileups like that, you know that anything goes. He throws right. There for the reception. The stop was made by John Beeson. Fasano has six catches now. Good pressure that time, and they forced a bad throw. Not much he could have done with the pocket collapsing like that.
They give it to the tailback. It's fourth down. This will be a 43-yard field goal attempt. He missed it. They'll start this drive at the 33-yard line. First down now and 10 to go. The tackle was made by Jason Taylor. And they really ran right into the blitz. That's a time that a veteran quarterback should have changed the play at the line of scrimmage. You could see the blitz coming. He didn't audible and only came away with a short day. Vic with the give. Nice call there by the defensive coordinator coming with the outside linebacker blitz, which really put some pressure on this group up front. Slides down. He just broke that one for a big gain and the first down. Boy, that's a killer on third down to allow that kind of run <laughs> to be ripped off in there. You're thinking, okay, if they want to throw the ball, take a chance on getting a big play, that's fine. But to see a run go for that kind of a gainer, that makes you sick. Yeah, he put a little too much on that pass and forced the receiver to make the catch out of bounds. Again with the run. Philip Merling makes his fifth stop of the game on that play. The offense facing another third down here as they line up. Throws it. It's there for the catch. Bell was there to bring him down. The Panthers' passing game continues to impress. There's almost no resistance when they try and throw the ball. It seems like they're getting 10 to 15 yards every time. They'll go with the run once again. This is the eighth play of this drive. Here's the give. Just about three yards there, and so it'll be third down. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Slides down to the ground. It's fourth down. This will be a 37-yard field goal attempt. And it's good. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. So after that kick, the score is now the Carolina Panthers, 44, the Miami Dolphins, 24. In from the six. Runs over tackler. Hit and dropped at the 38. Hands it off. They can't bring him down. Martin makes the tackle. Brown gets six yards on the play. Hit as he let go of the ball. At the 30. The stop was made by Barnett. The Panthers with a huge defensive mistake that time. Chad Pennington made a great read, saw the zone, knew exactly where to go with the football. Perfect quarterback play that time. He'll get the call again. Barnett was there on the tackle. Barnett is playing with some intensity out there. He's been in on five tackles so far. The halfback with the carry. That's a gain of five. That'll bring up third down. Short yardage situation here. They'll need a little less than a yard to convert. Again, he'll get the call. That's one of the few times the defense has been able to corral him. He's had his way with it. And it's good. 
Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. Fielded at the nine. He gets back to the 29. The Panthers offense has to be a little disappointed with how that last drive ended to move the ball that effectively and only come away with three points. Short throw to the right. How about this? No penalties called so far in this when you go the entire first half without a penalty, and now we're into the third quarter. They're going to pitch it. He breaks the tackle. He tries to spin, and he is dropped. Williams picks up a yard on the play. He'll get it again. And they didn't get it. Yeah, they were lucky just to get back to the line of scrimmage. I don't like the call when you're in a third down situation. I'm paying the quarterback so much money. He's getting the ball there. Takes it back to around the 40. The Dolphins were having their way with this defense last time out, but were held to just three points. They'll look to top that here. The stop was made by Lewis. Brown gets about four yards on the play. Looking right, intercepted. Won't be stopped. The tackle was made by Polite. Again, it looked like there was a little miscommunication on that interception. In the NFL, the quarterback's primary responsibility is to maintain possession of the ball. Don't give it away. He's the most trusted guy in the field, and today he's looking shaky. That's a nice six-yard gain. That brings up second down. Vic with the give. Yeah, sometimes you just have to admit defeat on a play as a running back and just try and get that thing back to the line of scrimmage. He's going to take off. Joey Porter is there on the tackle. The Panthers have had a brilliant game running the ball. This keeps up this defense will be totally gassed in the fourth quarter. Williams takes the give. Give to the tailback. Breaks another. Davis gets his hands on him and drags him down for a loss at the 26-yard line. up blockers he has it on the screen Allen makes the tackle good looking screen pass that time it could have gone for a little extra if they'd gotten one more block that was close it's good here's your sprint drive summary so that will make the score the Panthers 47 the Dolphins 27 Brought down at the 37. The Dolphins come back out looking for better results than their last time on the field. And he's hit as he let go of the ball. It's caught to the 20. 
to the 10. Touchdown, and they're not ready to quit just yet. The Dolphins get a 65-yard touchdown. What a beautifully designed play. Chad Pennington delivers a touchdown pass on a beautiful throw, and I really, I just admire the way he plays the quarterback position. Such an intelligence there, but also this, this gutsiness. What an awesome combination. The Dolphins start this final quarter with the ball. They'll be looking for a quick score. Robinson takes it from the six. Breaks a tackle. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. Excellent return on the kickoff. You know, that's one of those plays that is a kick returner. You don't always run to the hole when you see it. You kind of run away from the hole, and then at the last second you make a break into the hole so that they don't know where the hole is because you're not running in that direction. Does that make any sense? D'Angelo Williams can see the field so well, and as a runner, you need to have that kind of vision to be successful. Plenty of room in the pocket. He slides. Seven yards there. That'll bring up second down. They'll need about three yards here on second down. Williams on the handoff. Wilson is there on the tackle. And this defense may be a little susceptible to that kind of a thing. They're so aggressive running to the football. That time they flowed downhill, got caught on the counter, lucky to contain that one for what it was. Crowder comes away with a sack. Yeah, that was definitely not a good play for the offense. I think they were anticipating a blitz to one side. They got it from the other side, and the quarterback ends up getting sacked on the play. Jason Ferguson makes the tackle. Arrington gains about four yards on the play. Passes to his left. Touchdown, Panthers. Well, if you're going to make a oh, living yeah. in this league as a running back, you're going to have to make somebody miss at some point. And that was a big somebody in the backfield that time, able to escape and stuck it in for the touchdown. Again with the run. And they won't get the two. Looked like the defense was expecting them to run it there. Yeah, I don't know why when they saw that defense, they didn't try an audible out of that play. I'm sure the coaching staff felt pretty good about that play going in based on what they saw on film but that couldn't have been what they were anticipating there brought down at the 31 and it's knocked down Richard Marshall was defending on the play second down 10 yards to go Here's the pass, and the pass is knocked away. Anthony Fasano was the intended receiver on the play. There's a flag on the play. And this one looks like it's gonna come back. Looks like they're going to go for it here on fourth down. Hit as he passes. There for the catch. John Beeson was there on the tackle. Alight is able to make his fourth reception. And off to the right. Channing Crowder makes the tackle. Crowder records his eighth tackle. It's second down, six to go.
He's sacked. Nice job on the line by the Dolphins. Pretty obvious passing situation here after the sack. Third down, 14 yards to go. Man, we need to do something. They hand it off. Gabriel Wilson was there on the tackle. Gabriel Wilson has been on a collision course with the ball carriers. That takedown marking his fifth tackle. He's got it. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. And that was not an easy kick, Chris. Yeah, it looked like a little adrenaline kicked in on that one, didn't it? Maybe even surprised him how far he hit that one. He'll take it from the two. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. They failed to convert on fourth down the last time they had the ball. Hit on the pass. The tackle was made by Popinga. Not much on that play. That'll bring up second down. Gets the pass out. Tipped away. Godfrey had the coverage on the play. They line up at the 28. Here's the throw. Comes down with it. You can tell these guys practiced that play quite a bit. Yeah, I can remember hearing stories about uh, old-time players in the NFL that literally they could go out in the pitch black and make throws and catches without really even seeing the ball. That's the kind of timing we're seeing today. Brown picks up about four yards on the play. Throws it out. No one can come up with it. Barnett was defending on the play. They line up at the 46. Passes the ball. Tipped it away. Martin had the coverage on the play. Looks like they'll opt to go for it here. Throws it short. Got it, but he's going to be stopped short. The defense holds. That's a gain of five. Handoff up the middle. Norbert is there on the tackle. Williams gets about four yards on the play. Dumps it out left. Wilson makes the tackle. King with his third reception. They give it to the tailback. The stop was made by Jeremiah Bell. Bell has eight tackles now in the game. Gets the ball away. Davis was there on the tackle. Hussein Muhammad is just so good at getting separation from defenders after he catches the football. Williams gets the ball. Brought down behind the line. Really impressive play that time by this defensive line. It wasn't just one guy, but every guy up front just dominating their guy at the point of attack. Hands it to the back. Anderson was there to bring him down. A couple of yards there, and so it'll be third down. Don't get scared. Don't get scared. 
and the Panthers are in for the score. You love to see a halfback yeah. with absolutely no fear. Once he saw that goal line, he knew he was going to stick it in. Point after is good. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. At the 30. They get him at the 35. The Dolphins will set up shop at the 35. Throws it. And it's completed. Richard Marshall makes the tackle. Chad Pennington continues his aerial assault. He's now thrown for 500 yards in the game. Passes it. Defender tips it away. John Beeson was defending on the play. Throws just as the pressure gets there. And that's one of those plays where you leave it up to the receiver to make yardage after the catch is made. When he can't find his way into open space, you'll see plays like that. He throws left, brings it in. The stop was made by Martin. This team is just so good at executing those short, quick passes and picking up first downs and keeping drives alive. And the snap goes right to the back. Brown gains seven yards on that play. From the 25-yard line. And he caught it. The tackle was made by Thomas Davis. And tight ends are so big that as coverage people, it's tough to figure out how to defend them. If you're on their left side, they throw it to the right side. If you're behind them, they throw it in front. Tight ends are tough to cover. He's there for the catch. Turner makes his third grab. This is the eighth play of this drive. They hand it off. Sometimes when you get a back with this kind of talent, it can be so difficult to get him on the ground. Miami comes out in the Wildcat set. Direct snap to the back. Touchdown, Miami. Get him going, baby. Well, you never like to be behind at this point in the game, but clearly you can see that they're starting to find something now with the running game. They're starting to establish a little dominance up front. And over six minutes still left in the fourth quarter. With the score, the Dolphins 41, the Panthers 63. He'll return it from the one. They get him at the 30. The Panthers will start this drive at the 30. Harrington takes the give. At the 40, at the 30, he's down the sideline. No official signal yet. They're saying no score on the play. The big gain on the ground will set the offense up with first and goal. Give to the tailback. You gotta love this guy. I had a chance to talk to him in the offseason, and the one thing that he said that drives him nuts about any running back are guys that run out of bounds. He wants to lower his head, create contact, and crush anybody in his path. At 
at the 30. He's tackled at the 38. That return will set the offense up nicely. It's just so easy to overlook the importance of good special teams. I can't tell you the difference between having to start drives around your own 20-yard line or inside that versus being out in the middle of the field. The confidence it gives your offense, the confidence it gives your play callers makes all the difference in the world. Gets the pass off. Pass is complete. You just can't let him get the ball, can you? That reception put him over 100 yards. And this receiver just looks so confident catching the football. You know, if, if you really believe in your hands, it gives your eyes a chance to look away and try to make some runs after the catch. This guy knows he's going to make every catch and do it solidly. It's first and 10. Ball on the 18. That was some great running there. Knew exactly where to go, which hold a hit. When the makers move, turned it on. Just a very natural runner. Up. And good. Here's your sprint drive summary. With under five minutes remaining in the fourth quarter of play, the score, the Dolphins, 48, the Panthers, 70. The Panthers get to the ball. If you play the game long enough, you're going to play in a few games like this on both sides. But on the losing side, it's really tough. Really, at this point, all you can do is not quit. We go go out there, away. keep fighting, and get ready for next week. The stop was made by Davis. Arrington picks up five yards with the carry. Vic hands off to the left. And if you can make a running back hesitate just a little, that time you could see there really was no hole and the running back was just fishing for a place to go. Short throw to the left. Rosario gains about five yards on the play. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. This will be a 47-yard attempt. And it's good. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. That was a great kick from that distance. It really was, wasn't it? There are no field goal kicker jokes going on on the sideline right now. Just a lot of love. Jones from the five. At the 30. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. The Dolphins will begin this drive at the 33. They'll run the option. Peppers makes the tackle. Just a great game today. He's carried the load for this offense and has picked up some nice yards on just about every carry. Counterplay. Thomas Davis was there on the tackle. Ten-yard pickup on the play, and that will bring up second down. He throws right, makes the catch. Turner makes it five catches for the game. First and 10. He's under a heavy rush. Barnett makes the tackle. Chad Pennington is having a tremendous game. 600 yards passing is unheard of. Come on, dog. Dumps it out left. Marshall is there on the tackle. They'll gain four on that pass play. Nice pre-snap read that time by the quarterback. He saw the zone coverage and went to the out route. He passes short. 
There for the reception. No official signal yet. He did not score. First down now, they'll be looking for six points here. Miami is in the Wildcat formation. They snap it to the back. Hit and drop behind the line. You know, for a running back, there comes a point in time where you say, all right, this play is not working. Let me just get as much as I can and try to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Hennington has completed every pass on this drive. Godfrey picks it off. He's reversing direction. Godfrey has it for the touchdown. He had that one all the way. Not only a great break on the ball, but he knew what to do with it and stuck it in the end zone. Tremendous play. It's good. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. Less than two to go in our fourth quarter of play. The score, the Panthers 80, the Dolphins 48. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. The Dolphins will set up shop at the 29-yard line. He lays it out there. And he brings in the high pass. Brought down at the 27-yard line by Munnerman. And there you see just a little bit of how tremendous these athletes are in the NFL. The ability to go up above the defense and make a play like that, that was fun to watch. Just gets it away. And they might be tacking on five yards here as the defense appeared to be offside. First down here and only five for the first following the penalty. Short pass. He tries to spin, but he's brought down. It's tough to pay too much attention to a running back in the passing game because at least half the time they're staying in the block. So when they do slip out, occasionally they can hit you for a big play. London can't make the catch in traffic. Well, you have to admire his courage. He's not afraid to make any throw anytime, anywhere, but he's lucky that one wasn't picked off. Short throw. Looked like someone got caught holding. Here's the official call. That'll bring up second and long after the penalty. This one appeared to be on the offense. So it's second and long now after the penalty. Passes. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. And now the offense will be faced with a third down situation. Third down. Steps up in the pocket. Everett Brown has 10 sacks this year. Anytime you're talking about double-digit sacks, you're talking about one of the dominant players in the league. What a season he's had. Short throw to the run. The tackle was made by Dwayne Jarrett. The completed pass goes for a gain of seven.
Vic hands it left. That's all from Bank of America Stadium. Our Christian wrap-up is next.